。好，咁我哋繼續講我哋嘅吸收作用啦。咁我哋之前講咗攝食啦，我哋講咗消化，咁我哋而家咧就去到第三個階段就係、是、吸收啦。吸收嘅意思咧就係、是、將消化完可溶。由簡單由細粒嘅分子咧，從消化道嗰度吸入去邊度啊？大家 mark 低喎，吸入去循環系統。咁即係咧，我哋咧將啲食物咧擺咗入去我哋嘅血管，我哋就可以運去全身咁去使用啦。好啦，咁我哋咧就要講我哋呢一課嘅主角咧，就係、是、個小腸啦。小腸就係負責吸收食物嘅地方。咁我哋咧呢課就要了解咧小腸個結構點樣能夠促進佢吸收嘅功能。好啦，咁啊邊個位會進行吸收咧？咁當然係個小腸啦。咁你可以望到啦，小腸你覺得大約有幾多米啊？大腸有幾多米咧？小腸係長好多嘅，六米，大腸都係米半啫。咁所以咧，我哋點樣能夠可以做吸收做得好啊？第一個特徵，小腸嘅長度十分之長，咁佢令到咧食物可以逗留喺消化道裡面嘅時間咧就長咗，咁我哋咧吸收嘅時間咧亦都多咗啦。好啦，途中呢一個咧係咩嚟嘅咧？佢個形狀就好似一隻隻嘅手指，咁呢啲咧就係我哋小腸裡面揾到嘅構造啦。我哋呢啲咧就叫做絨毛，呢啲都係絨毛嚟嘅。咁<咳>你會睇到啦，絨毛咧，當佢咧突咗出嚟之後，其實你可以睇到咧，佢有咩好處呢？原來佢能夠增加咗吸收嘅表面面積。不過設計師就唔單止淨係用絨毛呢個構造增大表面面積。我哋一齊睇下小腸個表面面積點樣能夠加大第一，小腸咧佢個內壁咧係好多皺接腳、巢腳。咁而巢嘅呢啲位咧，皺接多你呢一個皺接咧，就即係呢個皺接啦。呢、这個皺接咧，就即係呢個皺接。每一個皺接上面咧，小腸個內壁咧係擺咗好多絨毛嘅。嗱，呢個第二個層次咯，增大表面面積。咁我哋將一條絨毛咧，將佢放大睇。呢、这個絨毛上皮細胞咧，我哋再將佢放大睇。呢度又有啲微絨毛喎。咁呢個就係第三個層次增大啦。所以咧，小腸個內壁有皺接，皺接上面布滿手指狀嘅絨毛。而啲絨毛再放大，佢嘅絨毛表皮細胞咧，仲更加有好多微絨毛咧。咁我哋將呢三樣嘢成大佢咧，咁咧我哋嗰個小腸吸收個表面面積就相當之大啦。記唔記得呢個絨毛上皮細胞上面鋪咗啲乜嘢喺度㗎？冇錯啦，上面就係鋪咗嗰啲嘅消化酶啦。有邊兩種消化酶啊？有消化蛋白質㗎啦，有消化呢個碳水化合物酶啦。咁呢個構造我哋叫咩？茶狀丸。咁我哋頭先將呢個小腸，將佢嗰個裡面嘅表面面積，將佢咧攤平。原來咧足足個面積咧有一個網球場咁大嘅。我哋有一個咁大嘅表面面積去吸收食物，唔怪得吸收得咁快啦。好啦，咁我哋講翻頭先咧嗰啲啦。絨毛，第一你要講佢咧，就似個手指狀，就增加咗吸收食物嘅表面面積。而絨毛嘅絨毛上皮細胞有大量嘅微絨毛，咁呢個咧就提供極大嘅表面面積做吸收食物啦。好啦，要吸收食物，譬如呢度就係個絨毛啦，咁呢度咧就有啲食物嘅分子啦。咁當佢咧要入去個絨毛裡面，你覺得呢一個絨毛嘅？究竟厚定薄會好呢？原來係相當之薄嘅。我哋將嗰個絨毛上皮細胞，我哋將佢睇翻。原來呢個絨毛壁咧，就只係得一層細胞咁厚嘅啫。咁薄有咩好處啊？
薄到得一層，細胞咁厚，就縮短咗食物吸收嘅距離，咁咧擴散亦都會快咗好多。好啦，咁我哋為咗能夠將個擴散令佢加快，你哋記唔記得有啲咩方法啊？好，第一就係、是、縮。短呢個擴散嘅距離啦，第二就係增加呢個擴散個梯度啊。擴散個梯度點能夠保持一個好大嘅梯度呢？咁咧個設計師喺裡面咧就增加咗兩個嘅運輸嘅構造，第一個構造就係血管，第二個構造就係乳縮管。好啦，咁我哋咧不如咧講下個兩種嘅運輸構造各自有啲咩功能先。咁咧，我哋先諗諗有啲咩分子喺個腸腔呢度要被吸收㗎？消化完之後，碳水化合物就會變成可被吸收嘅葡萄糖啦。蛋白質就會變成最細粒嘅氨基酸啦。而脂肪咧就會分解成為脂肪酸同埋甘油啦。咁另外仲有其他嘅嗱，呢啲礦物鹽啦。<咳>好啦，咁我哋將呢啲分子咧，我哋按佢兩個嘅誒、嗯、性質，我哋就將佢分為兩類啊。你覺得有啲乜嘢嘅性質可以將佢分為兩類啊？咁原來咧，我哋就按佢嗰個水溶性同埋脂溶性，將頭先嗰幾個物質咧就分為兩類啦。水溶性嘅分子有葡萄糖、氨基酸、礦物鹽、維生素 C。而脂溶性嘅分子就有脂肪酸、甘油同埋維生素 A。好啦，咁我哋咧就鋪呢條血管喺裏面咧，就係、是、專係將喺腸腔呢一啲水溶性嘅分子，當佢一入咗嚟咧，佢就會好快脆運走。一運走咗之後，佢就能夠保持住一個好大嘅擴散梯度啦。咁乳糜管咧。就係、是、將外面呢啲啦脂溶性嘅分子，例如脂肪酸、甘油、維生素 A 啦，當佢一入咗去個絨毛裏面，佢就好快脆運走，一運走咗，佢嗰個擴散梯度亦都會保持住好大，咁就促進嗰個吸收啦。好啦，咁我哋咧先做一條 M C 第十條，好對答案。構造 P 係咩嚟㗎？好、so, ，先寫低呢個咧就係微血管，而 Q Q 咧就係乳微管。好啦 ，P 咧係揾啲水溶性嘅嘢嘅，咁咧葡萄糖、氨基酸都係水溶性嘅。好啦，所以咧<咳>血管仲會混氧氣啦，所以答案就二三。嗯，好啦，咁我哋繼續講啦。咁如果我哋將一個咧，誒、嗯、絨毛，我哋打橫咁切啦，雖然個比例就唔係好啱。呢、這個咧一咧就係、是、絨毛上皮細胞，就即係咧呢一節啦，就係、是、一啦。咁你會睇到啦，呢度咧其實係真係得一個細胞嚟嘅啫，呢度係咪？一個細胞得一個細胞核嘅啫嘛，而個絨毛細上皮細胞咧，當我放大咗去睇咧，佢對住呢個腸腔嘅位置，見唔見到啊？有好多咩嚟㗎？呢啲就係、是、微絨毛啦。好啦，咁而家考你啦，中間呢度咧有啲構造喎、哦，二係咩嚟㗎？冇錯啦，二就係微血管啦，而一咧係咩嚟嘅咧？冇錯啦，就係、是、乳微管啦。好啦，咁我哋講一講呢兩個運輸嘅結構點樣能夠促進咧食物分子嘅吸收。好，第一啦，腸腔呢啲嘅有啲食物分子啦，全部都已經係被消化完成噶啦，佢哋好細粒啦，佢哋亦都係可溶嘅。咁而家咧，當呢啲分子
，你幻想下，當佢一被吸收入咗嚟裏面，入咗去咯喎，好啦，再入，再入，入咗去之後，微血管裏面嘅血流喐唔喐噶？喐，佢就會冇咗。咁冇咗之後，你而家睇下嗰個擴散梯度又變翻好大啦。咁佢又再擴散入去咯喎，擴散咗入去，跟住微血管佢係流動嘅，佢又會，跟住個擴散梯度又大翻啦。好，第三個特徵咧就係絨毛裡面咧有一啲運輸嘅結構，佢哋咧能夠將吸收咗嘅食物好快脆咧，咁就運走咗，以維持一個大嘅濃度梯度就進行吸收。好啦，咁我哋咧睇一睇一套片咧，去總結下我哋呢個吸收先。And with her new teeth, she can take on more solid foods. Digestion starts in the mouth. Teeth grind up the food. Then special glands under the tongue pump out saliva. 呢個咧就係佢先啦，啊，接啲口水出嚟。To h e l u b r i c a t e the food on its 12 h o u r 13 foot journey through the gut. It'll pass from the stomach into the coils of the small intestine. 經過小腸。Finally passing into the large intestine. 去到大腸，大走。好啦，佢食埋啦。Waves of contracting muscle keep the food moving. A process called Peristalsis. 啊，呢個喺食道裏面就係蠕動啦。These contractions are so powerful, we can even eat upside down. For the first time, a new camera shows a high-definition view of how food travels through our bodies and into our stomachs. 啊！食物而家準備跌入個胃啦，好，食物跌咗入個胃裏面啦，呢度就係個胃啦。Food enters the stomach through a hole at the top。啊，上面咧就係食道，而家咧就跌啲食物入嚟啦。好啦，呢度就係個胃腔啦。The stomach is a bag of muscle. That churns, squashes, and squeezes food into the stomach. At the same time, acids break the food down. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the stomach walls protect them from the food being absorbed into the stomach. These are the About an hour later, the stomach squeezes the broken down food out through a tiny hole called the pylorus sphincter. One hour 之後，個胃部咧就將消化完嘅食物咧，我哋咧就將佢咧喺個胃下邊嗰個出口咧，將佢繼續排落去小腸度啦。The food enters the small intestine. 而家入咗去小腸。An eleven foot coil of tube, where we absorb most of the nutrients. The small intestine is lined with millions of microscopic projections called villi. These increase the surface area of the gut, making it easier to absorb nutrients. First, the pancreas pumps out a juice that neutralizes stomach acid. 嗱，胰臟咧，而家咧準備咧喺個胰管嗰度咧，埋咧呢一個咧就係個膽咧，佢準備咧，啊呢啲就係膽汁啦。呢度就係個胰管嗰度咧，佢準備咧，啊呢啲就係膽汁啦。呢度就係個胰管嗰度咧，佢準備咧，啊呢啲就係膽汁啦。呢度就係個胰管嗰度咧，佢準備咧，啊呢啲就係膽汁啦。The ileum sphincter, a valve that keeps our food from going back where it came from. 
佢啦，入咗大腸啦。What's left is a mix of waste food and dead cells from the walls of the gut. The large intestine's main job is to extract water from it. Lots of bacteria live here too, but it isn't because of an infection. We actually need them. They produce enzymes that break down complex carbohydrates in our food. Carbohydrates we couldn't otherwise digest. Finally, after about 12 hours, we expel what's left of our first meal. Hmm. Good. Let's go to the bin. <音>好啦，咁我哋咧就將頭先咧我哋講咗水溶性嘅物質啦，同埋一啲脂溶性嘅物質咧，我哋咧都會咧吸收入去我哋呢個絨毛裏面嘅。咁我哋而家咧再更加詳細啲睇一睇佢哋點入去先。我哋首先由水溶性嘅物質開始先啦，葡萄糖、氨基酸、礦物鹽，咁呢啲物質咧。佢咧喺個腸腔呢度個濃度咧都相當之高嘅，咁所以咧呢啲嘅水溶性嘅食物咧，佢就自然咧就會用到擴散啦，去擴散入個絨毛裡面嘅。不過之前都講過啦，擴散呢個過程其實都相當之慢嘅噃，同埋單用擴散，我諗咧你條小腸咧唔可以六米啦，可能變做六十米長啦。所以有啲咩辦法，我哋能夠加速呢個吸收咧？嗯，我哋仲會用埋主動運輸。所以咧，我哋咧就吸收一啲已經消化咗嘅食物，我哋同時間會用到擴散，加埋主動運輸，一齊將啲食物將佢吸入個絨毛裡面，擺入血管，咁就將佢咧混離開我哋個絨毛啦。好啦，咁又問下你啦。咁如果我哋真係會用到主動運輸，你覺得我哋個上皮細胞有啲咩細胞器係相當之多嘅？答啱咗啦，就係、是、腺粒體啦。呢度嘅腺粒體係好多好多好多嘅。好啦，咁我哋再講埋咧脂肪啦。脂肪喺我哋嘅腸嗰度咧，佢就會被分解成脂肪酸同埋甘油呢啲細粒嘅分子咧，佢就能夠可以被吸收啦。不過，其實我哋人類唔係要用脂肪酸同甘油嘅，其實我哋要用到嘅咧係啲脂肪，所以咧佢咧首先就變咗細細粒，我哋又用主動運輸，又用擴散作用啦，將佢扯入去個上皮細胞裡面。脂肪酸同甘油入咗嚟上皮細胞咧，佢哋就會重新結合，形成翻脂肪。脂肪跟住咧就會咧混入去我哋個乳眉管嗰度，你可以用啲顏色筆將呢個乳眉管咧揉一揉，黃色啊 ，OK， 咁就跟住帶離開個絨毛啦。好啦，咁呢條係微血管嚟嘅呢條，咁你覺得佢而家會將啲血液首先混去邊一個器官啊？首先就會混去個肝臟啦。跟住咧，我哋就再運去邊啊？就運翻去個心臟啦。OK， 好啦，咁呢一度咧，乳眉管呢度又首先運去邊啊？首先咧就經過咧一個叫做淋巴管啦，跟住佢就運去我哋嘅大靜脈啦。跟住呢，我哋就返心臟啦。咁返咗心臟，我哋咪可以將佢運去全身啦。好啦，你做返呢啲嘅筆記咯喎<咳>。好啦，呢一度呢，就係一個絨毛嘅上皮細胞，呢一邊呢，就係腸腔嘅位置。好啦，咁呢度呢，就有啲
食物嘅分子，咁可以咧喺呢啲嘅就係微絨毛啦，上面有酶喺上面嘅，咁樣佢咧仲可以做吸收嘅喎、哦。微絨毛增加表面面積去做吸收，好啦，用嘅方法就係擴散啦。主動運輸用唔用啊？用啊，不過要能量嘅喎、哦，所以你會見到個上皮細胞。相當之多呢啲嘅線粒體好多啊，就促進咗個主動運輸去做啦<咳>。好啦，頭先咧我哋講嗰個咧就係、是、小腸，就係、是、呢個位啦。當我哋吸收咗之後咧，我哋首先咧就要經過一條嘅血管，大家記一記，就叫做肛門靜脈。跟住就會將呢啲咧啱啱食完飯啦，假設咁呢度有大量嘅葡萄糖啦。大量嘅氨基酸啦，咁啊會經過呢個肛門靜脈咧，運去個肛臟，個肛臟就會將過多嘅葡萄糖轉成糖原，儲低佢。咁離開個肛臟之後，仲有冇葡萄糖啊？有，個份量就係相當之正常噶啦。好啦，跟住啲血液咧，運咗去個心臟，我哋咧就可以咧沿住呢個位啦，雙循環，跟住咧就去翻大靜脈。大動物就將佢運去全身啦。好啦，咁講完水溶性嘅食物嘅運輸啦，就由腸經肛門靜脈去個肛，再翻個心臟。咁呢個就係水溶性食物嘅吸收運輸嘅路徑啦。咁脂溶性又點咧？脂溶性咧，我哋喺個絨毛嗰度咧，我哋咧唔係經血管吸收嘅喎。我哋經乳微管吸收嘅，乳微管集埋集埋咧，就變咗一條嘅淋巴管。淋巴管咧，佢就一路咧就會咧扮落去我哋膊頭，膊住我哋嗰個大靜脈，呢度就係我哋大靜脈啦。佢就會將咧呢啲嘅脂肪咧擺翻入去我哋血液循環系統，咁啲脂肪咧就可以咧又翻翻去我哋心臟，咁就泵去全身啦。咁<咳>你幫我加翻條線喎，呢度 ，OK， 乳微管集埋咧就變淋巴管，呢度咧就係運咩㗎？運脂肪㗎。脂溶性嘅食物啦，好啦，咁我哋做一個嘅 M C 三十二題，構造一係乳微管，構造二微血管，呢、這個係絨毛。上皮細胞，好啦，入構造一乳微管嗰、那個係咩嚟㗎？啊，都唔記得啦。啲脂肪就會變做脂肪酸同埋甘油，脂肪酸同甘油咧入到嚟我哋個上皮細胞，佢哋就會重新結合形成脂肪，脂肪就混入去啦。所以咧，構造一應該係脂肪，或者係啲脂溶性嘅維生素啦。脂溶性即係嘅維生素有邊啲咩？有 A、D、E、K。好啦，跟住咧再做呢條第四十三題。好，對答案 X 同 Y 吸入咗個絨毛，會重新結合，跟住運去乳微管。X 同 Y 最有可能係咩啊？答案就係脂肪酸同甘油啦。好，我哋做個小結啦。小腸嘅長度相當之長，增加食物被吸收嘅時間。絨毛突起呈咩狀？手指狀。增加食物吸收嘅乜嘢啊？表面積。絨毛只有幾多層細胞核啊？一層
縮短咗食物吸收嘅距離。絨毛內裡面有微血管同埋乳微管，迅速地把吸收了的食物運走，維持大嘅擴散梯度。